Welcome to the first video in my new ESP8266 series where we will review initial setup, board features, and a relay example. Over the next couple of videos I'll show various uses for the ESP, like an LED matrix, light control, or even a robotic arm. Hi Snacky! The ESP comes in a bunch of different formats. The one we'll be focusing on is the Node MCU ESP8266. Another popular choice is the D1 Wemos. What we learned today on the Node MCU can also be applied to the D1. Let's get started. For the rest of this video, we'll be using the Node MCU. We'll use my Instructable as a guide for our initial setup. Assuming you already have Arduino installed, we'll skip to step four. Arduino doesn't come preloaded with ESP8266 info, and these steps will add it in. Let's bring up Arduino, then select File, Preferences, and then Additional Board Manager URL. Here's where we'll copy the URL from the Instructable and paste it in. You can have more than one in this field for multiple board types outside of ESPs. On step five, we're adding the ESP to Arduino via the board manager. In Arduino, select Tools, Board, Board Manager, then search for ESP8266, and install the one that is pictured. All right, now we can plug in our ESP8266 with our micro USB cable. Next, we'll configure the board settings for Arduino. They're listed here. In Arduino, you'll update them under Tools. Once you select the correct board, you can manipulate the settings below. This is a great time to check your COM port. If you're not sure which one, unplug your ESP and plug it back in and note the new COM number. Last step, flash your ESP. This is only done once. You need to determine if your Windows is 32-bit or 64-bit first. If you're not sure, you can type in about in your search bar. Now that you know your version, you can download the appropriate flasher. The link will bring you to GitHub. It's okay if you're unfamiliar with the site. It takes some getting used to. Here we just need to click the download button. After opening the file, you get this dialog box. You'll need to select your COM port that is connected to your ESP. After that, select Flash. It'll take a couple minutes, and at the end you'll get a green check. And that's it for setup. Okay, let's talk pins, also known as GPIO, General Purpose Input Output. This ESP might look like it has a lot of pins, but really only five are totally usable. This site has a great breakdown on the GPOs. Note the left side is taken up with a lot of pins you're not gonna use. And some on the right are not even recommended. Luckily, they have a chart below. And to make your life easy, you should only use the one with two green OKs. For a sanity check, let's run some example code in Arduino that blinks the onboard LED. Go to File, Examples, ESP, then Blink. These examples are great to build off from. We'll upload it to our ESP by selecting the arrow pointing right. The text in orange is what you should see as it's uploading. Here's our blinking light. Noise! Now let's do a digital relay example. These operate in 5 volts, which can be supplied by your ESP, and in short, they act like a digital light switch. I mostly use these to replace power switches. I'll show you an example later in the video. Let's talk power. VN supplies nearly 5 volts when powered via USB. The rest of the board provides 3.3 volts including the GPIO pins when pulled high in software. Now we'll show it with a multimeter. I have leads connected to VN and ground, and power is coming from USB. Nearly five volts, plenty to power our digital relay. Just to be thorough, let's check the 3.3 lines now. I have one connected to 3.3 and the other to ground. Don't want your ESP connected to your PC? You can always power it with a USB battery bank, or you can supply power through VN and ground. Please know if powering by VN and ground, you have to disconnect the USB or you'll cause damage. Let's power it with external voltage. VN is connected to a voltage regulator and a safe range should be between five volts and 10 volts. We're gonna connect it to VN and ground. Make sure USB is disconnected. All right, here we go. Power's on, lights blinking, good stuff. I'll adjust the voltage up, no puff of smoke. All right, let's put it all together. We have the signal, positive, and negative line. Positive will be connected to VN, negative to ground. For this example, we're building a push button activated relay, but there are so many more possibilities. For example, my relay is connected to Twitch chat. This is a four post tag switch. The post on the left are not connected to the post on the right until you push the button. The posts on the back side are connected to the ones on the front side, even when the button isn't pushed. That was confusing to me when I first started, so hopefully that helps. 
We're going to connect the left side to D2 and the right side of this button to ground. Now the software. I'll have this posted in my GitHub so you can copy and paste it into your Arduino and upload it. All right, moment of truth. Let's test it. USB power, sending five volts to the digital relay, and it turns on. I know what you're saying. Wow, that's it? So I connected my bubble machine for some wow factor. I hope you find this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. I got plenty more videos on the way. Thanks again for watching.